Yeah, so this is uh, lecture number 35 on uh, tutorial mostly on week uh, uh, 7 lectures. So, so in this uh, let us see. So, uh, exercise number 1 if you see which of the uh, following is wrong statement. Okay. So, let us see uh, the head generated the first one option is uh, the head generated by a centrifugal pump at 0 discharge is shut off head. So, if you see this right uh, this is the discharge and head and this is the curve if you remember the uh, characteristic curve. So, head generated the centrifugal pump at 0 discharge so, at this 0 dis discharge whatever head you are uh, seeing. So, this is called a shut off head right this is shut off head. So, that means, when you close the delivery or when you close the discharge uh, pipe completely and then uh, and then uh, on the pump and you see how maximum uh, I mean you can uh, achieve the head. So, it is a shut off head and the second is to avoid cavitation in centrifugal pumps. So, the net positive suction head should be more than the uh, theoretical atmospheric pressure. So, this is one thing. So, the cavity in order to avoid cavitation in centrifugal pumps the net positive suction head which is the minimum head required to lift water right, right should be more than the theoretical atmospheric pressure. So, uh, if it is more than if it is more than what happens is the positive pressure right. So, and uh, nowhere it is not going to suck anyway right. So, it should be negative pressure. So, probably this may be the answer, but let us see the another one. According to the affinity loss of centrifugal pumps, the head varies with the square of the impeller speed. So, the head h which is varies with the impeller speed, a varies square of the impeller speed n square. So, I think this is true because h by h 1 uh, which is equal or oh, sorry the yeah, h 1 h 1 is equal to n by n 1 square right. So, this so this is also true. So, this is true this is true and and this has this is false anyway, but let us see d uh, most of the turbine pumps have operational characteristics close to those of the centrifugal pumps and propeller pumps. So, this is true. So, the only here the answer is b ok. So, because the cent in order to uh, lift water. So, the atmo uh, the pressure should be less than atmospheric pressure so that you can uh, you know get suck the water ok. And this uh, section uh, exercise 7.2 the second uh, the pump used to high pressure odd shot sprayer is. So, definitely this is a plunger type if you observe there is a plunger plunger type of positive displacement pumps uh, uh, is uh, seen uh, when a person uh, who uses you know uh, the sprayers. So, and the third one so that is called uh, when the water level in the well is at a depth 7 meter from the surface uh, the most suitable pump to lift water for irrigation is. So, here uh, there are several pumps low head pumps are com coming, but mostly I, I mean we will uh, say the 7 meter. So, uh, the centrifugal pump can operate up to uh, you know 7.5 meter but still centrifugal pump can be the single stage centrifugal pump can be used. And exercise uh, uh, 7.4 the pumping device that combines the advantage of both centrifugal and reciprocating pump is called the rotary pump, because the rotary pump has uh, both uh, centrifugal and the reciprocating uh, action here. So, rotary, rotary in the sense your gear pump or the vane pumps if you observe. So, the, the the I mean the cams whatever you are seeing the cams right. So, it has a rotational as well as the centrifugal because the water which is throwing out. And then uh, here there is an example the brake horse power of a centrifugal pump right. So, there is a BHP of centrifugal pump having an impeller diameter. So, the D is given uh, he is a 
86 kilowatts. So, this is power P, let us say P. Uh, okay. If the impeller is replaced with another impeller, so that is uh, let us say this is D1, right? the brake horsepower of the uh, pump will be. So, what is the P1? So, this is simply from the affinity uh, loss. So, affinity loss says like P by let us say like P by P1 which is equal to D by D1 right whole cube. Okay. So, you can use this uh, equation and find out the, the P1 which is equal to right. So, P into D 1 by uh, sorry D 1 by D four power 3. Okay. Anything. Okay. D 1 by D whole power 1 by 3 yeah D 1 by D whole power 1 by 3. Let us say so uh, using that equation you get uh, uh, this simplification. So, then uh, so substituting the values. So, substitute those values here and you get uh, the finally the P 1 which is equal to 1.35 HP right or kilowatts. So, if, they, if that is a kilowatts it is kilowatts and the next is uh, here it is it says a 6 stage centrifugal pump which delivers 120 liter per second this is a Q uh, against a total head this is H which is equal to 5 10 meters. If the design speed of this pump is this is N 1450 rpm the specific speed of the pump will be that is N S. So, N S is equal to N into Q power 1 by 2 into H power 3 by 4. So, this equation if you use right. So, uh, all the values are given, but here the q is in meter cube per second. So, we have to convert the q 120 liter per second into uh, meter cube per second that is 0 0.12 meter cube per second n is 1450 rpm. The total head of 6 stage centrifugal pump 550, but uh, since it is 6 stages let us consider 1 stage uh, that is 560 by uh, 6 stages that is 85 meter and substitute these values and if you can if you substitute the values you get uh, the N s as 17.94 rpm. Okay, so, here uh, this is another example a 5 hectare field under wheat crop is irrigated at 40 percent depletion of uh, available moisture content. Okay. So, uh, the available moisture content is field capacity moisture content minus wilting point moisture content. So, this will give the uh, available moisture content. The field capacity and wilting point and bulk density of the soil in uh, or 32 percent is the field capacity. This is on weight basis okay. and 20 percent uh, uh, wilting point uh, again weight basis and 1400 kg per meter cube. Uh, the bulk density. So, uh, in order to convert the weight basis into volume basis you need to multiply the weight basis moisture content with uh, uh, bulk density. So, that you get volumetric moisture. Content. So, we have bulk density also uh, in the problem. So, to irrigate the field in a day of 10 hours a pump is used uh, which lifts 270 meter cube of water per hour against a total head of 20 meter. Okay. So, all the data is given most of the data if the root zone depth is 0 0.8 meter the volume of water required to irrigate the field will be. So, this is from the previous lecture we can find out. So, knowing the available moisture content available moisture content available water which is field capacity minus wilting point right right in multiplied by root zone depth. So, you get the uh, available water but uh, we are expecting 40 percent depletion right and 0.4 times of this available water. So, that the depletion you need to replenish that water. So, that is the irrigation requirement and multiplying with your area you get the volume right and the volume divided by you know 10 hours you get the discharge. So, knowing the discharge and the head 
uh, and you can get uh, estimate the power ok. So, power and finally, the the input horsepower. So, that will be estimated by water horsepower divided by all these efficiencies. So, that is finally, the uh, the input horsepower required to operate the entire system ok. So, uh, coming to the solution here, the field capacity is given 32 percent 0 0.32, wilting point 20 percent uh, and bulk density you convert that into gram per centimeter cube ok. So, then the other input parameters are like time 10 hours head 20 meter, and the pump efficiency drive efficiency and motor efficiency are also given. So, available water now the field capacity minus wilting point right uh, into bulk density into root zone depth. So, why we are multiplying the bulk density since these are gravimetric means weight basis right these are weight basis and if you can multiply the bulk density then this will be in volumetric basis right volume by volume basis and then multiply root zone depth. So, you get 13.44 centimeter. So, that is the water available in the root zone um, and then, but irrigation requirement is 40 percent of that right. So, now, now uh, if you can use this, this is the available water multiplied by 40 percent you get 5.376 centimeter you have to apply right. So, volume of water will be area into irrigation requirement. So, that will be this much volume you need to apply, but uh, um, uh, what is the discharge? The discharge is uh, 10 hours because this volume has to be applied in 10 hours. So, this is your discharge and uh, in liter per second convert liter per second right and then you can use this equation to find out the, the horsepower and putting the discharge in liter per second uh, head in 20 meters I mean meters and 76 uh, is the uh, conversion. The efficiencies all motor I mean pump efficiency, drive efficiency, motor efficiencies all together. So, you get uh, the 33 uh, HP of pump is required to operate the uh, entire system for 10 hours in order to uh, irrigate. Uh, is the field at 40 percent depletion of available water ok. So, uh, so with this uh, this tutorial, so in this mainly the in the tutorial, so whatever we covered in in, in the in this week, uh, so we got some important uh, you know the questions uh, which are from uh, gate exam. Um, so, we solved those and in addition to this you can also you know uh, go to some other relevant books to find out the re, uh, and relevant you know the uh, problems and solve yourself and uh, and the next class we will be focusing on uh, I mean with this the wells and pumps section is uh, done in the last two weeks and from uh, next week onwards we will be focusing on drainage part right. So, in the drainage uh, the basic principles of drainage, design of drainage and uh, the salt affected uh, lands and uh, what is the salt affected lands all those things we are going to learn. And then what are the types of drainage right installation procedure and uh, and there are some case studies ok of drainage. So, all these things we will be covering the, in the rest of uh, uh, I think the 5 weeks ok. So, thank you so much.